Hi, my name is Jia Wang. I'm going to talk about uh, the second part of tutorial of ICM 3D. The slide is in the video description. In this part, I'm going to focus on the analysis tools. First, you can show the hydrogen bonds in the interactions in the analysis menu. And you can select whatever interaction you are interested in. And then by default, it will be selected and the rest not selected. And you can show the interaction in different format to the interaction network, uh, to the interaction map, uh, false directed graph. Here shows the to the interaction network for the binding of the lichen to the protein. And the lines show the interactions. Red is the pi cation interaction. Blue is the pi stacking. Green is the hydrogen bonds. And here also you can show the table display where you can um, select each interaction and highlight in 3D. This custom view can be replayed with this share link. And here shows the same interaction in false directed graph. The top part shows false directed graph with random false. And the bottom part, the false was removed. Then there's no false, so you can easily drag the node anywhere and you can generate your custom 2D display. Next, I'm gonna talk about the electrostatic potential. If you click the analysis and go to Delphi potential, you have two options. One is show the potential on surface or show a equal potential map. In this example, the the potential on protein was shown on the surface. And the potential on the ligand was showing the equipotential map. And um, the shell link can display your custom view. Next, I'm gonna talk about show the mutation of the residues. Go to analysis, mutation, and you can specify multiple mutations. And you can just display in 3D and the backend is using the step program. Or you can show the 3D plus the interactions. In this case, the mutation of N to Y at a position 501. You can see the change of interactions with one extra pi cation interaction and y one pi stacking. Or you can output the mutant PDB file. And the custom view can be replayed with the shell link. And we also have multiple alignment tools. One is the structure to structure alignment called VAS plus alignment. And um, if you go to this link, <coughs> it shows a similar structure to 6M0J. And if you click one of the option and you can view the VAS plus alignment in ICM3D. And um, here shows the, once you have the VAS plus alignment, you can refine your alignment by going to the file align selection. So you select part of the residues and click realign selection on sequence alignment. Basically uh, the, the sequence will be aligned and then the corresponding coordinates will be aligned in 3D. Or you can align residue by residue. 
in which the sequence are not going to be realigned. You just uh, the sequence and the coordinates of each residue will be used for 3D alignment. And you can also align multiple chain. So if you click file align multiple chain, you can specify um, any, any number of chain. And then if you click align, then the pairwise chain alignment will be implemented. So the first chain will be the template and all the rest chain will be aligned to the template. If you specify some residues, then only those residues will be aligned. And the residue number is on the template. So for example, if you specify 10 to 50, then the residue from 10 to 50 of the first template will be used and all the rest chains will be aligned to these uh, residues from 10 to 50. You can also align sequence to structure. So <clears throat> if you have your protein, you can go to BLASP and search against PDB database. And once you um, find uh, a match, you can click 3D structure alignment. So it will show the following. So your sequence is your query here and uh, you find uh, a matched structure. In this case is one TSRA and uh, here shows the uh, alignment. And uh, you can also in the sequence window, you can show annotations like interactions, side, domains. So you can uh, compare your protein with a 3D structure and also with the annotations. In the annotation window, you can also add your custom track. So if you click add track, and uh, you can add either um, um, fast A or an accession or multiple fast A alignment. In this case, uh, the multiple sequence alignment was input shown as the custom tracks. And you can also apply custom color or tube for chain. So you can define um, the color for each residue and the size for each residue. Now I'm gonna talk about how to embed iSYN3D in your web page. The simplest one is use iframe and you can show 3D display in your page. And uh, you can define the PDB ID, the size of the window, you can hide the command and you can show the menu without multiple menus, just one single um, mobile menu. And you can also hide the title. If you use, if you want to use ICM 3D as a widget to interactively, uh, to interact with your rest of, of your web page, then you can follow the example code at this link. And um, all the, you need to use the commands to implement a certain feature. So the commands are listed here. So for example, um, in your web page, you can insert a code like something like this. So you can specify a oops, set up, set up a setup viewer where you define your options, like what's your um, HTML diff and also what's your command, what's the other parameters. 
So here ID name could be like MNDB ID or PDB ID and specify your ID name. So, and then display the 3D structures. So you can call this function, define what's ID name and what's the PDB ID and your HTML div and your command. The command could be a concatenate the long string up to, yeah, typically up to 4,000 characters, but I think could be longer, yeah, because it, this is not in the URL, so you can have a long command. We, we switched ICN3D to ES6 classes, so now you can write Node.js script based on ICN3D. The ICN3D package is at npm, and there's an example Node.js script based on ICN3D. So basically, you you need to install ICN3D and the dependent libraries jQuery, JSDOM, and three in your um, Linux, and then uh, your Node.js script can start with like get a three and get JSTOM, get jQuery, and then get ICN3D. Then, then you can um, call ICN3D. Here I'm going to talk about how to build ICN3D. So you can uh, install Node.js and npm, then clone ICN3D from ICN3D GitHub page, and install GUP, and then run GUP. The complete package, uh, including 3.js and uh, jQuery, is also available at the GitHub page. And once you download the zip file, you can you will see these files. And the 4.html shows you can input the libraries and call ICN3D. If you want to contribute to ICN3D and add a new classes, and there's instruction here, and you can also download the ICN3D zip files to your local directory, and you can modify the module.html. Well, um, for example, if your class is a uh, load st state file, then you can first import ICN3D from ICN3D.module and then add your new class. And then later on, when you get the ICN3D UI, you can show the 3D display and then call your own class. Define your class uh, instance and then call your functions in your class. Here is one example of your class. So you can load um, classes from ICN3D module. And then in your, in your custom class, you can use the classes from ICN3D. So you don't need to write your own functions. Basically, you just use different functions from ICN3D and export your class. Okay. That's it for the second part.